Hi guys, welcome off to 10th Beer Reviews. My name is Chris and today we're going to do a beer that I picked up over at the 2024 Beer Tuber get together, which again was a fan fucking great time. Uh, today, I don't know who brought this beer. I really don't. Don't know who brought it. And if you're watching this and you know you brought this one and I snagged it, let me know so I can thank you properly. Uh, other than that, we're taking a look at Airport Lounge. Uh, Airport Lounge is coming from the uh, Dank House Brewing Company in Newark in Ohio. Uh, it's a double IP. It's coming in 8.5%. It's in a 16 fluid ounce can or 473 milliliters. Um, this one is brewed with, and I love the black writing on the pink background. It's driving me crazy. Uh, it's blue, brewed, blue, blue, brewed with Citra, Motueka, and an HBC 630 hops. And uh, it says, peace and thank you. You're welcome. And thank you, whoever brought this beer. I'm excited to have it. I like the black cans. I really enjoy black cans. I don't know if that's supposed to be a, a normal thing in this place. I, I mean, if this is a, just a sticker that's on the side of the can. So they bought a whole bunch of black cans, and I kind of dig it. I like it. It's different. All right, let's take a look at this beer. It's a live PA. Oh, she's hazy. She is hazy. All right. So, poured off with about two fingers of a cloudy white head, a little bit of con, a uh, little bit of condensed head on there as well. Big bubbles in there, big craters. Uh, it poured off on camera. Actually, it's looking exactly the way it looks. Uh, it's yellow with a little hint of orange in it. And it's super hazy. And let's get a, a smell on this one. Oh, if I, wow. That is tropical fruit all day long. There is a huge citra hops scent on this one. Big time. I'm talking orange peel, juice, rind, grapefruit pithiness coming through there as well. It's hard to pick out anything else but citra on this one. A little bit. I want to say a little bit of lime. And a little bit of dankness. That's right. It's from Dank House. So you would think there's some dankness on this. I don't know how old this can is. Uh, uh, shit. I can't see anything. I don't, it looks like it's pretty fresh. I think it says. I'm thinking it says June 15th. I could be wrong. I got to relook at it. But uh, it smells fresh. It looks fresh. I want to drink this one. So cheers, guys. And cheers to the person who brought this beer. Uh, let's take a sip. First of all, wow, this is fucking incredible. Let's talk about the body and the mouthfeel on this beer. Body at 8.5%. It's a touch over medium. I wish it was a little bit bigger. However, that doesn't matter to me. That really doesn't bother me because the fucking cloudy mouthfeel creamy smoothiness going down is fucking awesome. It's like drinking a cloud. It's like drinking whipped cream. Fucking, it's just that smooth going down. This totally gives me other half brewing vibes big time on this beer with, with the mouthfeel on it. This tastes... Oh, fuck. Okay, let's talk about the ABV 8.5%. You can't tell. This is 100% dangerous. I say that every time. If I can't detect the alcohol, no burning in the chest, nothing obviously down the throat. I consider it a dangerous beer. That's a shout out to Guy at uh, Drinking in Canada. Dangerous, dead, dangerous beer. This is super dangerous and it's super crushable. I mean, this is fucking awesome. I really enjoy this beer. This is getting, I'll tell you right now, spoiler alert, this is getting a high score. Uh, okay, the taste. Let me go back in. Let me go back in one more time or seven more times. It don't matter. It's so good. There is a citra presence in this beer that gives me a orange creamsicle vibe on this one. Pretty sure there's no lactose in this one. Pretty sure there's no vanilla. But the oats that they added into this beer 
And with that huge hit of citra hops in this one, it's really, it really knocked back the huge scent of citra and just blended it so nicely to like an orange creamsicle kind of vibe on the taste on this one. You get that orange the orange juice to a little bit of a of, of like a, I don't know why I'm getting a little bit of a vanilla hint to this one, but it's giving me a nice straight up orange juice vibe, but just creamed out. I, I guess that's the best way I can describe it. This beer is fantastic, and you know what? With that being said, we're already five minutes in. Fuck, five and a half. Better hurry up. People are going to turn off the video. Not give a shit. Better not. All right. So my score. For airport lounge from the dank house a brewing company and this one right here gets a straight up nine and a half out of ten i mean this is just right out my alley especially in the summertime like it is right now nine and a half is a fantastic score for this would i score nine and a half if i drank this in the winter time i don't know i don't know i should go gap some law in the winter time if unless it's a seasonal then i'm fucked but Nine and a half, I think that's an appropriate score. This is 100% in my jam. It gives you a semi-dry finish on the very end of this one, making me want to go back for more. And you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go back for more. But right after I tell you, if you guys are subbed to my channel, I appreciate you guys more than you know. And if you're not subbed, hit the sub button, and you're going to see a whole bunch of different beers coming for me. So anyway, guys, peace out. Mouth is dry. Time to drink. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks.